Hello, everyone. I think you're in for a little surprise today. It was quite a few weeks ago that I had the children's time, and it involved a cat and some mice. It was an Aesop's fable. Was, were any of you here that Sabbath? Probably don't remember. Well, I'm here to tell you that that Aesop's fable story was a favorite all over the world. Really, I was so shocked. So I, since my turn came along again, I thought I'm gonna have to go with them. This Aesop's fable is about a wild boar. You could call it a wild pig. They're kind of hairy and there's a fox in it too. And they're furry and they're beautiful and I'm going to tell you a little bit about this um, interaction between this wild boar who has tusks and a beautiful fox. Well, the boar decided that it was time to sharpen his tusks. So he found a tree and he was sharpening away on those tusks. And all of a sudden, this fox, and if you will turn around right now, you're going to see our Parkwood fox right there. Turn around and look. There's our, far, our Parkwood fox that my husband, Mr. Norm Herman, took this very week. And it was so much fun to see its beautiful coat and its pointed ears and so beautiful. Well, this fox went into this area, this forest, where this boar was sharpening its tusks. I'll let you know, okay, you can turn around again if you've already returned. This is what a wild boar looks like. There's several different kinds, I'm sure. Some are more furry and ferocious looking, but this one I think is perfect for this story. There, he's, His tusks are there and he's sharpening them. And the, the beautiful fox comes along and says, what are you doing that for? There's no hunters about, which means there's no hunters around here ready to try to get you because they can be pretty destructive to as they're digging roots and all of that. And there's no danger apparent around here. So why are you doing that? And the boar wisely said, you know, danger can come very quickly and unexpectedly. So the best thing to do is for me to sharpen my tusks so if all of a sudden I feel in danger, then I will be prepared. That's pure and simple. The moral of the story is it is a wise thing to always be prepared. Now, since it's school time, and I happen to have several of different kinds of bags that have been given to me over the years with gifts for teachers and such, the alphabet and, you know, a lot of the things we need, so this could give you a little hint. But uh, tell me first, who has already started school? Raise your hand. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. All right, so then we know we've got about that many that haven't yet. But it, you've already gotten prepared. Let me see, what is something you'll probably need in school? Mm -hmm. Is that gonna work very well? Why not? You have to sharpen it, that's right. So, if I am prepared, am I prepared? I have a sharp pencil too, so that I can be prepared for school. Let me see. Some of you might actually use something besides a pencil. What do you think this is? It's pretty, isn't it? It's a pen. I found it here in church. If anybody knows whose beautiful pen this is, let me know, because I've been keeping it very nicely for you. And some of you that are older might have to use a pen for writing something. And this is something you might not recognize. 
What do you think that is? No. No. I'll show you. Oh, no. I wrote the right, wrong number. It's an eraser. And it's so much better than the other kind. I got them when I was a teacher and gave them for gifts to students that were listening really well. OK, something these days, I don't know, because I'm not in with the teachers right at the moment, exactly, at school. But what do you think? Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. They might want you to have one of those. I don't know. But I like this. I was going to, actually, I was going on a trip to Maui four years ago when I got this to attach to my purse because, you know, you never know when you need hand sanitizer, okay? I wonder what was something that the lady with the silver hair talked about on our video this morning? Mm -hmm. What should we do with water? Are we going to drink water? Are we going to waste water? No, we're going to drink it. And what else do we do with it? You know, take a bath in it. That's right. In fact, I needed to drink a little bit of water. Preparing, talking about being prepared for this story today, because when you're going to talk in front of people, your mouth gets dry, right, everyone? <laughs> this is something that my husband and I just were given when we went to visit some nurses. And this is a collapsible silicone water bottle. Pretty neat, huh? I haven't used it yet. But those are just some things. Here's a couple of markers. OK, so we can get all those things. And we have other things to get prepared for. But um, there's something else that I have in here. And I'm going to give everybody one when we're done. I don't do that very often, do I? But I did today. There's another bag I have used to carry the things for story time in. And it says, has a little B on it. That's a hint. And it says, kind words are like Kind words are like, what's really sweet that bees give us? Honey. Honey. OK. Now, I think for you to be well prepared for school, since the verse is Proverbs 14, 26, which Pastor Tillet probably knows very well, um, that kind words are good for the soul. So do you think that maybe, as well as all of the little tools you need, the rulers and paper and backpack and everything, that you also need a smile, kind and kind words to say to those in your class, and appreciative words for your teachers. OK, these are little honey sticks. Have you ever seen them? I got them years ago at the Roden Farms. When you go up Oakdale Road and you get to Roden Farms on your way to Home Depot, you can't see it very well. Well, you can sit down. And when I hand it to you, you can look at it. But you can't suck the honey out because that's something that mom or dad has to do. They have to cut the top with some scissors because Mr. Herman would not be happy with Mrs. Herman. If I gave the children something sticky like honey to <laughs> spill all over the church pews, right? OK. so. I want you to have a wonderful year at school. Always remember to say kind words that are sweet to the soul for everyone. OK. All right. I'll come. You can stay right there for a minute. And I can get to all of you. There's your honey stick. There you go. You're welcome. There you go. You want to hand that one to the little girl behind you? Thank you. After you had your honey stick, you may go return to your seat. It is good. Honey is very good for you. You may go to your seats once you have your honey stick. Here you go. Here you go. Anybody in your family call each other honey? Yeah. <laughs> you got it? Okay, here you go. 
I know that the little one wouldn't be able to have it, but does Emp can have one? 